the ones you have imagined, you've imagined them wrong. After blowing fans out of the water in late 2022 with Puss in Boots The Last Wish, DreamWorks is gearing up for another animated summer masterpiece named Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. For ages, sailors have told stories of the legendary sea monster known as Krakens who sink ships, but DreamWorks is about to rewrite their whole story with this film. Just like how Shrek challenged the handsome prince trope, Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken will all be about proving that villains come in all shapes and sizes and that things aren't always what they seem. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the villains in Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, to find out their motives. If you love videos on hit TV shows and animated movies, do us a solid by subscribing to the channel and leave a like after you've watched the video. What's happening? Ah, excuse me. Hey, are you okay? This upcoming of age movie by DreamWorks focuses on the unassuming 16-year-old Ruby Gilman as she desperately tries to fit in at Ocean's High. One day, Oceanside High gets a new student named Chelsea, who instantly becomes popular at school due to her unmatched beauty and captivating charisma. Just like any kid, Ruby wants to hang out with the cool kids by the beach, but her overprotective mother explicitly forbids her from going along with the cool kids. Once pushed to the edge, Ruby doesn't heed her mother's warnings and heads on a beachside adventure, which causes her body to begin a strange transformation. Ruby tries to to hide it at first, but with each passing day, the tentacle-like suckers on her hands become hard to conceal. Ruby also happens to have a crush on an Oceanside High skater boy who only seems interested in her new transformation. Ruby's transformation forces her to confront her mother, who knew what they were, and she gets a small piece of the puzzle. Ruby learns that she isn't really a human, and she also learns about her long-lost grandmother, who lives at the bottom of the sea. Mrs. Gilman reveals that she wasn't suited to live life underwater like her mother, so she fled to the surface world, neglecting her duty. Seeking more answers, Ruby heads into the sea to find her grandmother, who turns out to be the warrior queen of the seven seas. She soon discovers that she's the latest descendant in a long line of ocean guardians who protects the sea from their evil nemesis, the mermaids. Naturally, her grandmother informs her of her awakening powers and the fact that she's destined to inherit the throne. As someone trying to fit in at school, her predicament is somewhat overwhelming, but she pushes through and takes lessons from her grandmother. She soon realizes that the popular new girl Chelsea is a manacle mermaid hell-bent on destroying Oceanside High, and she is forced to protect her school and everyone in it. With an aging grandmother and a new terror on the loose, Ruby has to fill some big shoes. Keeping us safe from the most power-hungry and dangerous creature of all. Right off the bat, the movie lets the viewers know that everything we know about krakens and mermaids is wrong. Unlike old sailor stories where krakens' ship sinks, DreamWorks spins a new narrative and makes them the guardians of the seven seas. On the other hand, mermaids are vain, power-hungry sea creatures who want to plunge the world into darkness. According to Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, krakens and mermaids have battled it out for eons over supremacy for the ocean. From the very first scene in the trailer, we are warned to forget everything everything we know about the Krakens. We learn that they aren't the massive creatures dreaded on sea for their destructive prowess, rather the movie makes them out to be brave and honorable creatures who protect all life. According to Ruby's grandmother, the warrior Krakens are blessed with magical powers to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with their arch rivals, the mermaids. Unlike the Krakens before her, Ruby is put in a unique situation as she is drawn by two important women who want different paths from her. Her mother wants her to follow in her footsteps by a abandoning her underwater heritage, while her grandmother wants her to be the heir of the warrior Krakens. They both have the best intentions for Ruby, but they might be slightly misguided since they want her to follow whatever direction they think is best for her. Ultimately, she has to decide what path she takes forward. As a coming-of-age story, we know that she's going to find a way to merge both her mother's and grandmother's vision into one point of view. DreamWorks has a history of subverting the expectation of tropes like the ugly ogre in the Shrek franchise, and they have set their sights on changing the image of the mythical Kraken. What's happening? Ah, 
Excuse me. Hey, are you okay? If the Krakens represent everything good in the world, then the mermaids are their direct opposite. They represent everything evil, yet they somehow manage to fool people partially due to their looks and charisma. On the surface, it looks like the only motive mermaids need to terrorize people are the fact that they are power-hungry sea creatures. And there may be other reasons these creatures have engaged in battle with one another for so long. Being the main antagonist, Chelsea personifies everything we know about the mermaids. From her graceful aura down to her murderous tendencies, she is a master at fooling everyone around her, and she likes to believe that the world revolves around her. Most kids at Oceanside High are instantly drawn to Chelsea once she transfers there, and she soon recognizes Ruby as a kraken she must defeat. I want you to teach me how to use my powers. Camouflage? Super speed. Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken is yet another collaboration between DreamWorks Animation and Universal Pictures. The partnership between the two companies has worked out well in the past when it comes to launching a franchise, and the new movie could potentially be destined for that same outcome. It really opens up a whole new world for audiences to explore with plenty of remarkable characters introduced along the way. Speaking of characters, the average movie watcher should notice that there is oddly something familiar about the movie's main antagonist. All it takes is a quick glance at Chelsea and it becomes apparent that the mermaid was modeled after Disney's Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Her flowing red hair and turquoise tail are all you need to know to realize that DreamWorks is back to taking digs at Disney. Over the years, we have seen caricatures of Disney characters making an appearance in DreamWorks movies, and it doesn't look like that is going to change anytime soon. Like Disney's Ariel, Chelsea is undeniably beautiful, and this helps to conceal her true persona. On the outside, she gives off a gracious pretty girl vibe, but deep down her personality is closer to Ursula the Sea Witch. With her latest movie, DreamWorks continues a trend that dates back to the first Shrek movie. Surprisingly, this won't be the first time an aerial lookalike is making an appearance in a DreamWorks movie. In a closing scene in Shrek 2, Shrek and Fiona share a kiss on the beach during their honeymoon, and a wave suddenly engulfs them. By the time the water subsides, we see that Fiona has switched places with the red-haired mermaid. Fiona is annoyed to see the stranger sharing a kiss with her husband, and she immediately throws her back into the sea, where she's attacked by sharks. We couldn't confirm if she survived the encounter at the time, but it looks like she made it long enough to become the villain in Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. And soon, everyone will know the truth. <laughs> Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken is a story of a girl who discovers her true heritage as an underwater sea creature with almost superhero-like powers. She must learn enough about herself to go up against a mermaid who plans to take over the world as we know it. This animated delight comes out theatrically on June 30th, 2023, just a month before Disney's Little Mermaid live-action remake, and it almost looks more than a coincidence. Nonetheless, it promises to be a heartfelt, family-friendly movie on mythical creatures who have been judged wrongly. What do you guys think of this movie? Will it be another smash hit or will it be forgotten once it leaves theaters? Let us know in the comments below. Let's see what you're capable of.